Well, we know we prepared that very carefully. And in fact, they will be relocated, not in camps, but in uh, some centers. And we will convince them to uh, accept uh, uh, asylum in France. You know, the problem is, uh, well, those people come from uh, Eritrea, come from Sudan, sometimes from Afghanistan. They don't speak French. They don't have family members in France. So that's the reason why they wanted to go to the UK. So it's in, it is clear that they can't go through, that uh, Calais is now a blind alley. So we hope that they will accept uh, asylum in France. But there are some who are determined to come to the UK. They're, they'll come to Calais again or to Dunkirk, wherever there is a means of getting across the water to, to the UK. Well, I hope they, uh, they won't. Anyway, we will keep uh, policemen there in Calais, so we uh, will use the necessary means for, for that. Because we think it's a humanitarian question, as you mentioned before, the, well, the conditions in the camps were squalid, and it's, uh, uh, so it's better for them to, to be in uh, more... Um, comfortable centers and uh, to be helped with uh, their uh, administrative uh, are procedures. You, are you worried about a hard core of people who remain in those camps, who don't want to leave vol voluntarily, who are determined to come to the UK, who are going to not leave? What's going to, what's going to be your government's policy in the face of such uh, protest? Well, the government policy is uh, to clear the camps and not to keep not the camps in, ca in, in Calais. That's the, the position to dismantle it uh, forever.